Hello, everyone. I am, <laughs> I cracked myself up. That's really sad. But I am creating the cardinal sin again from my image consulting relating to me just making videos without like anything on my face. Uh, my face is clean, by the way, but you know, no, whatever. I, I don't know. It's too much. I will glam myself up when I feel that I need to and when the universe directs me to do so. I really just wanted to do a very quick video to update you and keep the momentum going on my page, JW Van Minimal, if I did not mention that before. Um, so hello everyone, I am Jacqueline. I am with JW Van Minimal and I am starting a uh, channel specifically focused on van life, but with a minimalist perspective. Now, I'm I'm seeing I'm being a, a little schizophrenic when I say a minimalist perspective because I'm not talking about just me being a minimalist, but it's really talking about how we, as a group, can start to uh, incorporate minimalism into our lifestyle, which for me helps uh, inform sustainability. That means energy, water, uh, conservation, all of those things. And I think the last video I talked about how I'm going to minimize my plastic use. That's where I'm starting from because that's like the low hanging fruit for me is my plastic use. I'm going to also be talking about water conservation and some other things, but I wanted to give you a sense of what's going to be happening real soon as far as my process goes. Um, so you are un understanding when I put video up, that's what's happening. So if I did mention it before in my last video, and please check it out, like, share, comment, uh, is that I have a closet in my apartment. I have a st studio, but it's kind of a large studio. And um, I have two very large closets in addition to like some shelving, all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to take one of the closets and I'm going to actually use it as my van until I get a van. This is going to be my van life. Now, what I'm planning to do is kind of set it up in the way I would set up a van. But I'm also going to like live my life. But like maybe once or twice a week, whatever I can manage, I am going to... Um, set the closet up as though I'm living in the van. I'm going to do all of the things that a van lifer uh, or a van dweller, sorry, van dweller would do. So how I'm going to lay out my closet. The one thing I'm still kind of going back and forth about is the sleeping piece. I might still have to sleep in my usual place uh, in my apartment, but I'm still trying to work out the sleeping end of it. And I may even convert it into different things, uh, different styles, so I can help inform myself how I would do this until I purchase a van. Because right now I have a car and I've been going, people have been encouraging me, like, why don't you do the car dwelling thing? And it's a possibility. If I did that, though, I'd only do it overnight or something. I don't know. I can't get there, you know, with the car situation. Um because I have insomnia, like terrible, terrible insomnia. And I can just see being in a car, how spastic I would be hearing noises. Being, I live in a, an apartment and I got an underground garage. But even that, hearing people get out of their cars in the garage, just being in the garage is kind of weird. So I don't think I'm going to do that car thing. Even if I decide to go like to a state park or something, I might have to rent a cabin. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. Like we live in Wisconsin, it's still freezing cold outside. Like I'm wearing a jacket, sometimes a scarf. I mean, a heavy wool jacket and scarf. And if I need two gloves. So I'm not sure yet. I'm waiting till the weather break to decide on a couple of things. Um, but in the meantime, as I mentioned, I'm going to uh, do the closet, which I will film every piece of that. And I will set up my closet the way I want my van set up. The other thing, and I need you guys to hold me accountable, so that's why I'm telling you. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is uh, start putting my car on uh, Marketplace, Craigslist, whatever, to sell it. 
and I'm going to start looking for a vehicle because if I don't put the energy into it, nothing happens. So even though, you know, everything's up in the air, you know, I have to figure out the living thing, the money bringing in thing, like some of the stuff I can do, I can still live wherever and do my work, but it's just all in the air and all it's in the air because of myself. Like I have to say that if I don't put the energy into a certain thing, nothing happens. And that's just life in general. One of my uh, online mentors, Lisa Nichols, uh, says energy flows or energy grows. I think that's right. But anyway, I need to put the energy into these things I'm talking about. So one way to do that is to claim it, which I'm putting it out myself on blast with this channel. Uh, putting up videos at least a couple times a week. And just to remind myself that I have this goal to do this. The other thing that happened was um, one of my good friends. So I'm in the sustainability environmental community. I used to be very big on it in my city. I was on many boards, so on and so forth. But one of my good friends emailed me the other day and wants to go to lunch or breakfast or something. So uh, she also added in there this job description of this really awesome job in Oregon. And it's right up my alley, the type of things I like to do, uh, but it's a job. Ugh, like a regular one, like you have to put in so many hours a week. And I don't know, I'm an entrepreneur and just the thought of it. But either way, excuse this, I need to put some lip, some shiny stuff on my lips. But anyway... We are going to have breakfast in a couple of days and we're going to talk about that position and if I decide to apply, how to approach it. Because uh, truth be told in my mind, if I really, 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 really wanted that position and it sounded like something very exciting and I put the energy into it, I would get it. And once I get it, it's like, what do I do next? It would definitely mean moving out west to Oregon, um, but they've had a lot of flexibility in there. So I'm still thinking about it. I'm, I am going to apply, um, but when I apply, I have to put my faith into how I want the outcome to be. So to some people that might sound crazy or weird, but that's how I approach life. So I have to figure out how I want to approach it, if I actually want it. Because you guys know my journey is to be about a year on the road and to do that. You know, we have to do certain things before, you know, we make our transition. That's just the way it is. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. And I would love, love, love for you guys to grab my hand. Here's my hand. Here's my hand. Take it. Walk with me. Um learn with me, grow with me, if I can inspire you to do anything, including going against your image consultant's wishes by not putting no stuff on your face and on your lips and all that good stuff. But I really think it's more important about my message. Look beyond the other stuff. Um, besides, I'm a natural beauty. So I just celebrated my 56th birthday on Saturday. So, you know, Life is life, and I would like to enjoy it. So please like my video, share my video, but most important, subscribe, watch it, learn from it, and subscribe to it because I want us to walk hand in hand on this journey together, okay? So I am Jacqueline, J.W. Van Minimal, and I will see you on the other side.